Hey, welcome to Weld.com. We've been doing a lot of exercises on TIG control. I'm starting my students out this semester on doing some really fine bead work and everything. And speaking of fine bead work, I want to introduce a gentleman's work that I'm really proud of. I've been supporting him. Uh, it's my neighbor over in Missouri, Mr. Sean Flopman, goes by Dabs Wellington on Instagram. Always putting out some really cool work. And uh, there's some other people that, I, I mean, I'm just amazed at the quality of stuff that they do. I haven't had the time to play around with some of this stuff myself because I'm teaching 25 students this semester. I started out with 30 uh, in August of 2017. Obviously, five of them decided that they, uh, you know, things happen. you gotta, you got to step up and perform. And I'm not one to sit around, so I'm teaching all the time. But I, <clears throat> when I get some free time, I wanna, I wanna see if I can't uh, get into some of this stuff. Uh, Jody Collier recently made a really nice uh, Thor hammer, uh, did a video, and I thought that turned out really cool with the silicon bronze. And, and this is uh, these edge work and, and doing this with some stainless and everything. Um, I got this piece a while back on an auction, and, and uh, of course you can see what it is and everything, but you know, again, fine bead work, bead control, consistency, width, travel speed, adding the filler wire at the right time. This little guy here I keep on my desk. Kind of proud of him. He's a good conversation piece. So, you know, I got to looking at some really fine welds on here, and I'm, again, I'm kind of amazed by uh, the fine quality. Our students are trying to do some, uh, some edge work some bead work, not blowing things up, and then I, you know, because they're going into piping at the end of the semester, then I'm going to push them into doing open roots and bevels and on uh, plate and pipe. So in any event, I wanted to showcase these pieces here. I'm pretty proud of this gentleman. And again, there are some really great TIG welders out there, and I'm sure most of you are aware. Uh, I mean, I, I can't name them all, but I see I see stuff on titanium exhaust. I see stuff just all over, all kinds of applications. And it all boils down to this. You know, learn the basics and practice and, and get that fine control. And uh, you can think outside the box and create some really cool projects here. Sean put this out on, uh, on an auction one night and I'm going, you know, I think I need that because I think I want to give that to a family member. I'm going to travel to him, give it to him in person. But uh, in this one here, I wanted to help him out and because uh, I, I just thought it was cool anyway, but kind of needed something for my desk. In any event, you know, again, it all, it all comes back to that control the bead, control your speed, control the, the timing of your uh, adding filler wire and everything, and then you know, what can you make? What can you build? What's, what's functional? What can you sell? I always try to relate some of my stuff back to like cooking and smokers and food and all that. But anyway, anyway, uh, you know, again, I wanted to feature this. I'm pretty proud of this gentleman and I, I just wanted to support him and everybody for that matter. We'll do some more on other work as I have it in my hands. So again, think outside the box, practice. Practice on carbon steel, stainless, aluminum. Thanks for watching Weld.com. I'm Bob Moffat with Cali College.